Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a second Amazon exclusive that just got dropped off. This is the Isla Sorna Velociraptor Encounter Pack. So this one is like the last um, Iguanodon set that we got. It's like a box within a box, not much of a window box. So this is the side of it. Doesn't really show much. And then on top of it, it says Survival Instinct. That is actually the Amazon slogan for their um, exclusive sets. Pretty cool, right? Let's open it and check it out. All right, so this box is kind of interesting. It, um, it opens up. The first thing we see is basically what would have been the back of the uh, box package. If we fold it back up, I guess you can make it a package out of it. Um, and the side, it tells you what movie it's from and the scene that it was uh, inspired by. This is the Velociraptor female. We have Grant. I don't know how accurate, screen accurate that would be. Have a collection. And then on this part, you get a little sleeve. Very flimsy one. And then you just see what's actually in the box. So now that we actually have everything. Oh, it does have the Jurassic Park 30th logo, by the way. So here it is. We have... The female Velociraptor. We have Grant's backpack. A little side pack that you can put the Velociraptor eggs in. Extra hands. And then Grant. We're going to take a closer look at him. Um, this is the second attempt for Mattel to make it. This is the third release, actually. They have one for Dino Rivals. And then they had one last year for Target that did not get released in the States. However, it was made in, I believe, Asia. You can still get it at AliExpress. So let's open it and check it out. All right, so open the box. I actually took a little bit longer because his backpack was a little hard to put in, being that his arms are not detachable. But let's take a look at Grant. This one, Grant likeness, is not the best. I feel like the paint misses Mark. Um, the Legacy one, way better. And even the other hammer collection one is way better. Um, he does come with extra hands that I have not applied on. Um, but look at the backpack. Kind of little. A little Indiana Jones looking. And then he has a cute little plaid shirt now. Um, the rest of the figure is pretty cool. Same articulation as the other hammer collection. Very amber collection. So it's like butterfly joints. And then his shoes are brown. Um, he's fully articulated. He does not come with an extra head, though. The uh, hat does stay on him. The arms move as the wrists. They can also bend. Another cool thing that he can put on the another backpack would be the one with the eggs. So it's pretty detailed. The little backpack actually has... You can open, and then you can have slots to put in the eggs that Billy stole from the Velociraptors, like so. The eggs are really little, though, so don't lose them. Like so. And you can close it back up. And now let's look at the raptor. The reason most of us bought it. The female raptor from Jurassic Park 3. So I just found out this is actually an Amazon exclusive. Now they just list it on the website. So a lot of us ordered this back in November, pre-ordered it, and it was actually shipped out this week. So like I said, this is the third attempt from Mattel to make this particular variant of the Raptor. Um, I think they did a pretty good job. While not perfect, they did a pretty good job. Um, so let's look at all the details. The head has been resculptured to look like the one from Jurassic Park 3. Meanwhile, the rest of the body looks like the same one as Jurassic Park 3 Raptor. Because the neck is still kind of long. So let's go down the uh, articulation. Yes, mouth can open and close nicely detailed painted and then the neck articulation neck joint and then the arms can move the wrist doesn't move so the wrist is pretty much stuck there so the hip you can move open and close ball joint and then we have the ankles and the claws are all painted. Oh, look, the ankle is going to actually, it's ball joint too. So that's pretty cool. But the only thing about this one, like the, all the other um, hammer collection still, the feet are ginormous still. And then the tail of the dinosaur, which it was painted all the way, has a bandy plastic in it. 
So this is the third one. And I want to say it might be the best one. Because the other one is stuck in a jumping raptor position. So this one right here goes with our other one, the male alpha Jurassic Park 3. Oh, he also has a ball joint. Interesting. So now we finally have the Jurassic Park 3 variants of uh, Velociraptors. Um, like I said, I wish the feet was a little smaller. Well, a lot smaller than this. But other than that, this is a really cool set. It's the first stab at a battle pack from Mattel to have a dinosaur and a human figure. Hopefully, this can open the door for more Lost World characters, even. Like with the Lost World Raptor, maybe with Nick Van Owen. Yep, so this is it. The new set. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Um, I would re definitely recommend this. This one is kind of a little hefty price. $30, but it's worth it to me. And it comes in a cute little box. But, yeah. So this is her. The elf, not the alpha. The female velociraptor and also her eggs. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.